February, 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 February. Which one or both? I guess we'll find out. Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on English words that some English speakers don't pronounce correctly. Uh, so today I'm going to be looking at 15 words that are sometimes mispronounced by native English speakers. Uh, if you mispronounce some of these words, you don't have to worry too much. People probably understand what you're saying, what you mean, uh, what is in common use often trumps what is actually grammatically correct. Um, but I'm still going to tell you the dictionary pronunciation of 15 words. So we're going to start at the top with a word that I was mispronouncing for years and years and years. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Castlevania franchise of video games. And um, one of the characters that you fight in that game is Death. And Death carries this thing. And for the longest time, I kept calling this thing, you know, that farmers use to cut down wheat, uh, scythe. I'm like, scythe? Scythe? What, what is it? Well, I was mispronouncing it for like 10 years before I looked at a pronunciation guide and learned that it's actually a scythe. So this is pronounced scythe. I've put the IPA uh, spelling of all the words that we're going to look at today for those of you who are learning English as a second language and are familiar with reading with the IPA alphabet as well. So just repeat after me, scythe. And the end is a hard th, the th, not th, but th like a motorcycle. Okay, so say it with me one more time. Scythe. Okay, so the C is silent. It's not sk. It's just scythe. Okay, next. Uh, this word is commonly mispronounced as arctic. Okay, if you're saying it very fast. Uh, but don't forget that there is a C in that word. Unlike here, where it's silent, here you typically have to pronounce the C. So the proper pronunciation is Arctic. Repeat it one more time. Arctic. So make sure you get that uh, middle K sound. Arctic. Okay? Again, like I said at the start of the video, if you say Arctic, people will understand what you mean. If you want to be, you know, exact, correct, dictionary precise, grammatically perfect pronunciation, um, make sure you say Arctic with a k, k Okay? Next. So this word is often mispronounced as Calvary. Okay? Now, this word is actually pronounced cavalry. So, cavalry. Let's try cavalry. Uh, the cavalry refers to a military unit. The, you know, the military soldiers, obviously military soldiers as opposed to other soldiers. The soldiers who go on horseback, who ride on horseback. So, the cavalry. Cavalry. Okay, we're okay? Good. Next, the next two have the same mispronunciation um, problem. So we have escape, especially. So not escape, not especially. Okay, so some people pronounce it like an X, escape, especially. Um, it's not X, it's is escape. So try with just s, the S, not X. Escape. Especially. Especially. 
Okay, next, foliage. Uh, so this refers to, you know, the leafy part of a plant or a tree, the foliage, the leaves are foliage. Uh, the common mispronunciation, some people say the foliage. So it is pronounced just like it's spelled, foliage. And the IPA, foliage. So repeat after me, foliage. The forest has a lot of beautiful foliage, right? Okay, this one, it's not a super common word in daily conversation, so I understand why people don't pronounce it correctly. Uh, when some people see this word, they say hierarchy, like hierarchy. Um, you're forgetting the R. So it's actually hierarchy. So if you say it quickly, it's hierarchy. Similar to saying hierarchy, you can say it like that. Um, think about it like that. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. A hierarchy. Not a hierarchy, but hierarchy. So, r -r -r. there's the r -r -r. hierarchy. Now I'm having trouble. Hierarchy. Rar. The rar. The next word is interpret. A common mispronunciation of this one is interpretate. I don't know where that comes from, uh, but I've heard it. I've seen it. Uh, it is not interpretate. That is not a word. The word is interpret. And the IPA, interpret. Let's repeat it one more time. Interpret. Good, like an interpreter, right? Okay, next. Um, I think you know the common mispronunciation here. If you are an English speaker, you have been told this since you were five years old. It's not library, it's library, right? So, library. Don't forget the R here, okay? The first R, library. Or library. Or some people just say, Library. Library. Um, if you say it really fast. I'm going to the library. But really it's library. And again, if you say library, you know, somebody might correct you uh, or people might not care because they also pronounce it as library. Although the proper pronunciation, you should be remembering that are library. 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 Now you try. Library. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we have not miniature, but miniature. Minia. There's a there's an a in there. There's a uh in there. So miniature. Okay, a miniature toy. A miniature soldier. We're talking about military, so like toys. So, miniature, miniature, okay, and again, if you say miniature, it's not a huge mistake. Uh, interpretate, that's a mistake, that word doesn't exist, <laughs> but if you say miniature, it's not a huge end of the world mistake, people understand you, but please know the proper pronunciation should be miniature. Next, prescription, prescription, uh, not per, not prescription, but prescription. So let's repeat it after me, prescription. So after you visit the doctor, he gives you some medicine, you know, a note saying go to the pharmacy and, you know, show them this prescription. Next, so sherbet. What? Repeat one more time. Sherbet. Not sherbet. Uh, so a sherbet is a frozen treat, usually made with fruit. Uh, there's some milk in there. It's 
I'm not going to say it's similar to ice cream because it doesn't have cream, really. It has some milk. Um, but sherbet. I love strawberry sherbet or orange sherbet. I've eaten a lot of orange sherbet this week. It's delicious. Okay, next. Hmm. February, February, February. Well, it's not February. I can tell you that. So, uh, two commonly accepted pronunciations for this month of the year. February, February, or February. If you say February, no one's going to say anything to you, okay? It's like saying um, Tuesday and Tuesday. It's, you know, people are okay with both, really, unless they're jerks. And they say, no, it's not Tuesday, it's Tuesday. The people who say Tuesday, mm, not a fan of those. Okay, so uh, getting back to February, forget Tuesday. It's not even here. That's a bonus word. So February or February. I think the Febu is like way easier. So let's just repeat after me. February. February. Good. Next, utmost. Uh, so the common mispronunciation here, again, it's not a mispronunciation. It's similar to interpret where people think of a different word and they say utmost, you know, the utmost reason. So utmost means, you know, the greatest or to the highest degree. Okay, I have the utmost respect for you. Okay, like the highest degree, the greatest respect for you. So just repeat after me. Make sure you say t utmost utmost. Okay, good. And this one is a very Canadian kind of sound, the short uh, uh. That's why we, you know, people laugh about Canadians saying a boot. It's the uh, uh, a boot. Okay, it's actually about. Uh, and finally, this is a word that uh, I have mispronounced for many years, and I work for the site. It's kind of weird. I used to say angvid. I always pronounce the E as an angvid for some reason. Um, it's ingvid, just like English. Why did I say angvid? If you can find some of my earlier videos from like 2010, 2011, probably 2012, you will hear me say uh, angvid, not ingvid. So the proper pronunciation of our website is ingvid. Perfect. All right, speaking of Ingvid, if you want to test your understanding of the pronunciation here, uh, I will have a quiz for this lesson. What will you do? I guess you'll find out when you go to ingvid.com, check out the quiz. And while you're there, check out the thousands, is it thousands yet? Yeah, I think it's over a thousand videos that we have on ingvid.com where you can learn vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, phrasal verbs. Uh, everything, like English for daily life, IELTS practice, whatever. Uh, we have it all, so please check us out on ingvid.com. And when you're there, you can also click on the donate link to support us. We appreciate every donation we receive, and we rely on donations um, in addition to, you know, the money that we receive from YouTube and ads and all that stuff that other people get too. Uh, but donations help a lot, so thank you very much please donate. And check me out on YouTube, subscribe there, you know, do the notification thing. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, I don't have Instagram yet. Maybe I will when this video comes up. I don't know. Should I get Instagram? Am I that interesting? Should I post pictures of my food? Let me know. All right, till next time, thanks for clicking.